It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to graph the solution set of an inequality, determining whether it's an open circle, an arrow to the right, or if it's going to be a closed circle to the right, or even a closed circle to the left. So here is our question today. We have Amelia who is saving money to buy a new skateboard. She needs at least $85 to buy the skateboard. Amelia has $15 saved and will save an additional $10 per week to buy the new skateboard. The following inequality can be used to determine X, the number of weeks Amelia will have to save money before she will have enough to buy the skateboard. And here's your inequality, 15 add 10X greater than or equal to 85. And you are asked to graph the solution of the inequality and by doing this, you're going to select a solution indicator, one of these four, and then drag the point on the indicator to the appropriate location on the number line. So you can't interact with this video, but you can on a piece of paper determine which number value the open or closed circle is going to go on and which direction the arrow will go. So here's where you pause the video, you graph the solution of the inequality, and you come back to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So again, we're asked to graph the solution of the inequality. So we've been given this real world scenario and then they wrote the inequality for us. So understanding that we are first gonna isolate the variable term because we wanna know the value of X. So we have to undo this positive 15 here. There's no sign in front of it, so we know it's a positive 15, and the inverse of positive 15, or the opposite, is negative 15. What I do to one side of the inequality, I must do to the same to the other side. So we are going to subtract 15 from each side of this inequality. And then 15 subtract 15 is 0, and we bring down our positive 10x, which is 10x, bring down our inequality symbol, and 85 subtract 15 is 70. We're not done because we still want to know what just x is equal to, not 10x. So we want to solve for x, so we have to undo multiply by 10. The inverse of multiplying by 10 is to divide each side of the inequality by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1x is x. Bring down our inequality symbol. 70 divided by 10 is 7. So we have our solution of our inequality is x greater than or equal to 7. So now we know that she has to save at least 7 weeks. But they want us to graph our solution. So we need to identify which of these four arrow indicators we're going to do. And we want to know whether it's an open or closed circle first. So because it can be equal to, it's going to be a closed circle. And here's a tip it's greater than, so that means we're pointing to the right. So this is the arrow and indicator we're going to use to graph our inequality. Close circle because it can be equal to and pointing to the right because it can be greater than. So now we're going to come over to our number line and we're going to put our closed circle on the 7. Arrow pointing to the right because it's 7 and all the values greater and then we can take our indicator and drag it if we were on the computer so we know that we're going to have a closed circle, so it's going to be the number 7 and all the values greater than 7 on the number line. And that is the graph of the solution of this inequality. So that is how you graph a solution set using an open circle or a closed circle and determining whether the arrow will point right or left depending on greater than or less than. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll have come back soon and have a great day.